Hey, it's Kirk from Secret Nature. I've got a special quick little bonus episode of your radioactive house for you because I want to talk about helium balloons. It went right on past me there. I've got a big giant pokeball here, which is definitely full of helium and wants to float up to the ceiling. But where does all this helium come from? If you think about it, helium is a gas. If it's just sitting around on the surface of the earth, it's going to float on up into space. And so where does it come from? Now, if you've watched episode one of this series, Your Radioactive House, I talk about different types of radioactive decay. And one of those types of decay is alpha decay. And that is where two protons and two neutrons shoot out of a radioactive uh, atom and cause it to decay into something else. But two protons and two neutrons, that's what we call the uh, nucleus of a helium atom. When they go shooting out, they are looking for electrons. They're gonna strip those two electrons they need off of surrounding material, and they're gonna ionize that material. That's actually what makes radiation dangerous is it's uh, causing things to become ionized. Well, once they do that, boom, they're done. They are now just helium, all right? And that helium is underground. That's where most of the decay is going on. In this case, we have uranium deep underground. It is under your house. It is under my house. It is under all of our houses. For some of us, it's just below the surface in at least small quantities. Uh, sometimes deep underground, there's a lot of it. And there is a lot of uranium on our planet. And when it decays, it creates helium and that helium is underground it gets trapped uh, with other kinds of gases and when the petrochemical industry goes and uh, is looking for oil they're also gonna find natural gas they want to send that natural gas to run the furnace and the stoves and all that kind of stuff and they strip out the helium out of that natural gas and sell it to put into party balloons and other amazing uses and things we use helium for too, like MRI machines and whatnot. So there is a lot of helium being made right now underground. We take that and put it into balloons. So next time you see a party balloon, just remember you are seeing it float because of a byproduct of nuclear radiation, which is a pretty cool thing. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. You can click the Secret Nature button in the middle there to subscribe to this channel and receive more content. You can also click on one of the playlists on the left or right for more from Secret Nature. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing.